and welcome back to another K40 laser video. This is part four with the second mod. Drilling some holes in the ice maker. What you can see here is the ice maker and I had the cables so they're going here and they're going through the lid and the lid just sits on top but I want to make it more sort of permanent so hopefully I'm going to draw a line across there and I'm going to put a hole through there for the power one through there for the outward pipe because they pumps this side and one through there for the return and uh, hopefully the GoPro is recording this and I'm not doing it just to my, just for myself I've taped up all the inside with painter's tape, hold that down with some painter's tape, put some little blocks there just to give it some space and hopefully it won't shatter when I try and drill through it. So here we go, wish me luck. Almost through. Oh. Well, would you believe it? It's gone. The uh, GoPro battery went flat, and uh, I missed drilling all the holes. You only saw up to the point where the battery went flat. I was just drilling the first hole. But uh, sorry that you've missed all that. But there it is in its glory now with the lid shut, pipe in the hole, pipe in the hole, power cable coming out and uh, if I look at the bubbles and switch it on You'll hear the fans kick up and make a noise, but you should, with luck. See water flowing. Once it's got primed. There he goes. Getting the air out of the tube. So, we should take the tripod out of the way. Swing the monitor slightly out of the way. Water. Got some little bubbles in there, so I might have to leave that running. For a while, Let's see if we can clear that condensation. Okay. We 
seem to have water bubbling around the lenses, keeping the lens cool. about that condensation or what looks like condensation whether that's normal exactly not sure exactly where the water flows uh, is it a tube oh, is it a tube in the tube no idea so I'll leave it at that but as you can see there are bubbles running along and I better go and check now, the floor's not getting wet. So, job was a good one, even if I missed it. Sorry about that. Well, here's a blurry shot of it sitting under the laser with the power light on, ready to start up. Now, the reason I went for the ice coop, the ice maker, and not a laser water cooler, is the cheapest cooler was around £150 UK and it can basically it just blows room air across the radiator inside it and it has a tank for about nine liters of water and i say it's quite expensive now this is an ice maker and it's got a small tank but it constantly dumps every four or five minutes if you have small ice cubes or about seven if you have the larger ice cubes the ice cubes into the water and so it doesn't hold as much water but it's not relying on the temperature of your room to cool the water. It's dumping ice in and it seems to work quite effective. And people on the YouTube channels have said that it, uh, it works very well. So I thought I'd go for that and it was only 69 pounds. So, you know, just over half the price of a full coop of the cheapest cooler. So we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know if I have any problems. Here we can see it's been running for a few minutes and the water in the return pipe is already down to 11.6 degrees C and it doesn't get much higher when the laser's running. So jobs are good. If you'd like to see more videos like this hit the subscribe, click the bell and I'll catch you on the next one.